Hello. Have you ever wanted to look through the other side of a circuit board to see what was there? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. Here's a quick example of what I'm talking about. So I've got this LED right here, and I'd like to know what it's connected to. And I can easily look at the other side and say, oh, it's connected to the V minus and then it's connected through this 100 ohm resistor goes back up over to here down round and it goes to this bottom pin right here And that bottom pin is connected to the switch. So when the power goes on, that LED is going to go on. So let me show you how I got here. I've got a couple pictures that I took on my iPhone. Rotate that, and I'm going to rotate that. So first thing I want to do is, you can see I took this picture, and it's kind of skewed, you know, and it's probably not the right size, and it's not going to overlay that easily. And but what first thing I'm going to do is make it into a nice clean rectangle. That's about the size of the image I have. And trying to get rid of all the extraneous imagery next to it. So in this case, I'm going to find this spot right there where the board is coming through. Take that. And now I'm going to straighten it out by using one of the transformation functions. It's a skew. And all you do is you kind of let you pull the pull the edges out. So this is going to straighten this up. So you can see that now I've got a pretty square chunk. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. This one's not quite as bad a shape as that one. But I'm going to get to the edge there. I'm going to get to the... the fattest edge I've got. The longest edge, so like here. Bottom left corner, I'm picking that one. And I'm leaving that so I can stretch it out to fill it. And it's actually, this is actually pretty forgiving. So if you take a pretty bad picture, like that other one I had, it was pretty far off of straight, but you'll see that it, it this does a pretty good job of straightening it out. So now what I want to do is, is get these to be about the right size. So, you know, I'm just going to just, this board, and you know, I don't know what size it was. I'm going to say it was about an inch. Uh, high and I'm just going to adjust this size of this image to be one inch high and that's going to be you can just see it's going to be 1.975 inches in width and this isn't the first time I did this so I'm cheating a little bit but so when I go to adjust this one, what I noticed before is that this one was shorter. And it's probably I was closer to it, you know, or closer to the other one or something. So 
but this isn't quite right, but it's okay. So now these are, you know, going to be about one inch height. So they'll should overlay pretty easily. Now, what I want to do is is kind of orient it. So what I first thing I have to decide is which one of these is my is going to be the top of my board. So I'm calling this the top. It's got the most components. Uh, you know, usually you can tell a board's got a top and a bottom. Excuse my chair squeak here. Um, so I'm going to call this the top and I'm going to call this the back and it doesn't have as much on it so I think that's that's fine. But you can see that I want to have upper right I have a hole and then to the left of that I have a hole and these holes here so that's kind of my orientation for the other board. So you can see that this hole is here, this hole is here, and it turns out the other hole is underneath this. Uh, so we're going to flip this. Horizontally, so that now those are lined up. Is your fact make that about the same size too? So now what I want to do is take this image, copy it, first select A, Control A is all, copy, and then I'm going to paste it here. And that in Photoshop Elements, that creates a new layer. So now it's sitting on top of the other board. And what I want to do is now go back to free transform. So that'll allow me to stretch it. So I'm going to stretch it to the size of this other board. And once I do that, you're going to see, see how that one's lined up there pretty well. So I can take the opacity and change that and I can see that those holes are lined up really nicely. So you can see now that you can use this to basically look and see what's on the other side of the board. So you're like, oh, what's, what are these four wires coming in and out there? So from the top to the bottom. So this is RLBF. So in this case, this is an RC car. So it's right, left backwards forwards so these actually if you were if you just looked at the outside of where this was wired these go to motors so these are the four four wires of the two motors of the rc car this is the antenna going out these two leds are just power leds and you got the v minus and the v plus down here and a switch so we go back to this side. I'm looking here at the at the V plus. So you can leave it like this. So you can go, okay, V plus is down there. Goes to the switch. The switch goes here. You can still see the trace. And so here's a resistor, 100 ohm resistor that goes to this LED. So when when the switch is turned on. This LED goes goes across, and you can trace this one out. This goes to the negative side of the cap, and that's the negative side, and it goes underneath this chip. Well, that's where your 
falls apart a little bit, so you can't follow it under the chip. But if you were to just ohm it from here, this area, to, you know, go across these chip things, you're going to find out that it comes, <laughs> comes back out over here. This is the ground. And it goes underneath the chip to here, so this is also ground. So this whole thing is ground right here. And that's, you know, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's really just taking a couple pictures, lining them up the right way, and going back and forth. This is a pretty simple example, but I've used it on a really complicated two-layer board, and it was extremely useful in tracing it out without having to flip boards around back and forth then 12 times. And even when you have to ohm out a few things, you know, you, you can you can easily find those to do. So hope that's a helpful tip for you, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.